today's episode is a painting of Alexander Pierce, a petty p thief, a murderer, and a cannibal. This is a painting of a man named Alexander Pierce. He was an Irishman born in the late uh, 1700s and uh, he got convicted for petty thief stealing six pairs of shoes um, in, I don't know, somewhere right around 1818, 1819. And he was shipped off to a penal colony, so that's what they did back then, uh, on an island now known as Tasmania. While there, he escaped several times. Uh, the first time sounded like he got caught pretty quickly and got brought him back and taken to a higher security, um, more remote uh, colony. In that colony, he and seven others um, escaped. And it, uh, like I said, it was fairly remote. So uh, they were on the run for, I believe it was 110, 112 uh, days or so. And in this time, <clears throat> they behest on some uh, tough times. Um, and apparently, they started cannibalizing each other to survive because they were starving. Eventually, after this uh, hundred and some odd days, um, Alexander got caught. And he was disorientated, and he confessed to killing three, three of his uh, fellow inmates, and eating them, uh, along with other ones that were, were killed during the journey. A pretty gruesome tale. However, uh, most of uh, the authorities did not believe him. Uh, they didn't find any evidence thereof, and uh, so he. He went back to the uh, penal colony where he escaped from with no further repercussions. Uh, the authorities thought the other inmates were probably uh, in the bush um, living as bushmen. Uh, soon after he got back, he escaped a third time uh, with another fella. I think his name was Cox. And this poor fella did not survive. Uh, apparently, um, Alexander got enraged when he found out that uh, his fellow uh, escapee could not swim, and he killed him and cannibalized him again. He was no more than a day away and got caught, and this time he confessed to killing um, uh, Cox, uh, I believe it was Cox. He still had parts of Cox in his pockets. So um, he got tried and he was eventually executed uh, for that. Now this was not a typical uh, portrait of this fellow. I don't even know if there's a real photo of him. This is not a typical portrait. This portrait is of uh, Pierce's uh, skull. Uh, I was searching online for some nice skull uh, photo references and came about it, and I had no idea who Alexander was at this point. This is the fifth painting of Alexander Pierce I've done. Uh, this is the largest one. It's 10 by 10. Uh, the other ones, um, which I will flash up here, I've done uh, on coasters. Uh, little bar coasters that you get at the bar. I adjust them up and then paint on top of them. And uh, the first four uh, were on there. Uh, this fifth one is on a stretched canvas, 10 by 10 uh, inches. I hope you enjoy.
the tale doesn't end at his execution. His ex execution was uh, July 19th, 1824. Uh, uh, then his body was taken uh, to a surgeon for dissection. Uh, Pierce's skull, uh, it says here on, uh, on a website, Pierce's skull ended up in the collection of infamous American uh, Dr. Samuel uh, George Morton. In 1853, Morton granted his collection to the Academy of Natural Science in Philadelphia. Uh, the Academy then gave Pierce's skull, along with others from Morton's collection, to the University of Pennsylvania's uh, museum in 1968, where it is still there today. I'd love to go there someday to see it because I've apparently become really fascinated with the skull. Um, I'll uh, put a link below, so if you want to paint from this image, uh, you can. I'd love to see what you do with it. Uh, tag, uh, tag me, see it, Hexa. I'll put that in the description too. Um, little other note uh, about my painting technique. You'll notice that I did not start out on a white canvas. I usually uh, throw some leftover paint, whatever I have on my palette onto the canvas uh, and let it dry. So I have some little tooth uh, to build up uh, the next couple layers and I find that it is kind of interesting to have a base paint kind of showing through the background in spots and or you know it moves me in other directions. That is it for today. I hope you enjoyed uh, the painting. Uh, please like and share uh, if you uh, found this interesting. Also subscribe, that would help me a lot. Uh, more time-lapse paintings to come. Ja, jetzt ist es wieder aus, aber uns